this is just a quick look at the setup here on my tarp how I put everything together because I think I'm done for the summer and I want to make sure I record what things looked like I mean including the stupid little oh can I get it hornet's nest right there I chased those guys off this morning They're not happy with me all right so I'm going to take the tarp off so that the tarp does not continue to be exposed to the elements, more specifically the sun. And because uh, I'll keep this now off to the side here next to blue and uh, just sort of out of the way, but uh, ready to be brought back up and put into the pasture again. sad because I kind of feel like I did a really good job putting these on. carefully remove it so it doesn't catch on the chicken wire or the hardware cloth and tear anything. That I was about to say it's mating dragonflies. It's not. It's not. One is eating the other one's head. That'll, this will now sit here until we're ready to use it again. Um, I don't anticipate using them again before the end of summer just because it gets so hot here and that could have a negative impact on the birds. But if I get the forest cleared out, and the temperatures in there are tolerable uh, because they'll get a lot less obviously direct sun uh, I may risk it it just depends if there's a demand signal uh, for for the chicken over the course of the summer you know I was watching a young man on a YouTube channel called thinker farmer He's a young guy he's currently uh, interning for Greg Judy who is a, a Missouri cattleman and he was talking about uh, the four pieces of basically the farm business, the four things you need to know. Uh, production, processing, uh, marketing, and distribution. And uh, which was really insightful stuff. And it was, he, he did a good job of presenting that. And especially as it relates to using social media. Um, and marketing is one of the areas that I'm not good at. Uh, I don't know how to say that. I haven't, I have not truly thrown myself into it and I've hesitated because I don't know what I'm doing. But if we find ourselves in a position where marketing suddenly starts to work, whether it's on social media or flyers down at the American Legion or wherever it is, um, and we've met with some businesses, if that were to suddenly start working and I needed to put chicken tractors into production, um, I think the forest is going to be the way to do it. And so, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I can do clearing that up. I got to clear up almost, 
that's a couple acres worth anyway probably probably three to four acres of forest just to get good good lanes for movement of the chicken tractors throughout the growing process for the chickens uh, so I don't know I did a video about that I've made a start on it but it's just it's gonna take some time so I just need to get after it because if these marketing efforts do start to produce fruit we may need to start producing birds because there's going to be an expectation that we can provide uh, we got probably two years worth of meat in the freezer right now uh, so we can certainly use some of our current stores uh, but there's going to be a, a hopefully a demand signal for regular delivery and we're going to, have to figure that out anyway so that's what's going on. That's why I'm putting this off on the side to sort of preserve the equipment as best I can, but then also have it as uh, as a ready spare in case it's time to to start uh, making it uh, making it work again. Pause, long pause. Edit that out. All right. All right. That's it. How did you get stuck in there, Cardinal? How did you get stuck in there? That is weird. You must have walked in. All right, hold on. That was weird. That was weird. All right, let's not do a lot of that. Like my cardinals up in the trees.